This is a Marshall Enterprises presentation. Peace, everybody, and welcome back to another presentation. I am your host, Bud Brownsville, and I would like to share some information with you, if I may. <laughs> In compiling information over the last couple of days about status correction, about different topics, things always pop in my head and I go off into a tangent in my studies. And because of the times in which we're living in now, with the national emergency being called and me doing a whole lot of work in the background, trying to prepare one of my unincorporated business organizations that will be dealing with communications. I want to build it to a degree that it would mimic the American Red Cross. Let me share my screen and continue this conversation because <clears throat> people don't understand or fully understand how the American Red Cross works. I'm going to do a search right here and I'm going to put in is the American Red Cross publicly traded. What is the answer? Is the American Red Cross a corporation? We are an independent entity that is organized and exists as a nonprofit, tax exempt, charitable institution pursuant to a charter granted to us by the United States Congress. Unlike other congressionally chartered organizations, the Red Cross remain, uh, maintains a special relationship with the federal government. <laughs> I asked, was it a publicly traded company? And I pretty much got my answer. No, it's private. Private, private, private. Now, here is another thing that you need to know about that. Would you like to have your own American Red Cross charter? affiliate chapter maybe do you know you can nonprofits are set up similar to profitable companies whereas they are franchised although in the public a company that franchises it allows another business to utilize this its business model, whereas everything must look the same, they must use the same supplier, and they run their business pretty much, you know, exactly alike. That is a franchise. In the private, we call that a charter, or perhaps an affiliate, or a chapter. So, yes, private, corporate, corporate private corporations, private businesses, can be franchised, although that's not what it's called in the private. Here's another interesting piece of information I want to share with you guys. In 2005, Coke Industries completed its $21 billion purchase of Georgia Pacific. This acquisition represents the largest purchase of a publicly traded company by a private firm in the United States history. Georgia Pacific is one of the leading manufacturers of paper products in the world. 
So you have a private company that owns a public one. You have an entity that was created for you by virtue of your all caps name when you went to school because that name is not you, it's your person. Your driver's license, that name is not you, it's your person. Your bank account, that name is not you, it's your person. So you privately own that public entity. This is done all the time, but you have to recognize it. So Coke Industries, which is a private corporation, it purchased a publicly traded company, a public company. Now, I am going to find, I don't know if it's a video, it is a video. It's a video of the billionaires or it's a list, it's a video that's showing the most wealthiest people in the world. And 90% of the people on this list, I know you don't even know. I didn't know these people. That doesn't mean because, you know, I didn't know them, you wouldn't know them. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of these names, they are private individuals. If you do a search of the 100 richest men in America, you may get that list of publicly known individuals, but there are several people in the private that are very wealthy that you will never know about because they're private. Follow my lead? Okay, so I'm gonna find that video. I'm gonna probably put a clip of it in this video. And I want you to see the names that come up that you recognize in comparison to those that you don't recognize. You have people that are multi-billionaires and or like trillionaires compared to like a Donald Trump who's, uh, you know, a millionaire. So Donald Trump has maybe $750 million dollars. You know, Bloomberg has like $3 billion, but there are several trillionaires above Bloomberg that you don't know about. But I'm going to show you that video in a minute. Now, another thing that I wanted you to notice or know is that if you would like to do business with the United States government, you can. Just about everything in the United States is for sale. <laughs> Just about everything, and everything is is going private. You know, um, if you went through the process of getting your government information together, your company is legit, and you secured you a grant writer, your grant writer was able to secure you a grant, You your, your company now is getting public money, and you know, you're operating that business publicly, although you as the owner can remain private as I'm showing you on the screen here. Coke Industries purchased a publicly traded company. That doesn't mean they got to come out of, you know, the, the public or come out of the private to handle the affairs of the company. No, they can remain private and their puppets or their managers, their directors, their CEOs, their presidents are public. They can remain in the private. You can still do the same thing. You can set your companies up so that you remain in the private and your public companies do what they do. You can also flourish in the private, never coming into the, pu the, the public and make buku money. <laughs> buku money. But yes, um, the government spent 4.45 trillion last year in their budget and you can get a piece of that pie there are people teaching that you need to get away from the devil that you need to get away from the united states government and this and that and so on and so forth and okay what businesses will they be operating 
or what businesses are they teaching you to operate? Are they telling you to sell some soap and some incenses? You know, that's not going <clears> to <throat> get you but so far. And respectfully, when I, when I, let me, let me, let me backtrack on that one. Because no disrespect to the brothers and the sisters that sell the incense, the soaps, and the oils. No disrespect. What I'm saying is you can do things separately from this government. But you also have the privilege and the benefit of doing business with them. You don't have to be on their payroll per se. You don't have to be their employee. You can own a company and the company deals with them. So listen, you can, you can be a part or you could be separate. That is totally on you. How you want to handle your affairs is on you. I'm just simply giving you a glimpse into what can be done and perhaps how it can be done. So private foundations, private organizations and associations, a lot of them have charters, they have affiliates, they have chapters of which you can start on your own and take on their mantra or take on their ideals and thrive. You can seek look into, acquire a franchise and do business that way. Or you can do business in any other direction you want to take it. I'm just simply giving you a glimpse of what is out there. But now in 2019, the government spent $4.5 or $4.45 trillion. And all of this is public information. You can go through the list and see who was awarded what. You can also, you know, put your hat in the ring and you can apply. There are prerequisites that you need to do to get your business ready and available or eligible to receive public funding. And it's, it's a bit of work, but it can be done. And you can get a piece of that pie that's being dealt out yearly. All right, so short and sweet, just wanted to give you a little bit of information um, of what is out there and what can be done. And let me show you this quickly. This is the Forbes, America's largest private companies. How many names on this list do you recognize? You'll watch different shows or different events and you see all these companies that is sponsoring the event like the marathons and the uh, charities and different things and you'll say well who the heck is CNS Wholesale Grocers you don't know these people Cox and who, who is all this you don't know but they're private and they are raking in the dough and your name could be added to this list. This is the America's largest private companies. Amway still holding it down. Waiting for my internet connection to catch up. This is the list of America's largest private corporations, according to Forbes. If this list goes up to 100, I'm going to stop at 100. 
because you can pull us up yourself and continue on the road. It's a lot of private companies that you may not have known about. All right? So let me go find this video so I can show you about the uh, wealthy, wealthy individuals. And it puts things into perspective because you'll say, okay, this person is rich. Let's use that for your president. Your president is uh, a couple millionaire. So let's say 750, 250, whatever I said prior. But then there are people that are much more wealthier than him. And then the people that are over him, there's somebody over them. All right? So thank you for watching. Thank you for taking time to pay attention to what Bud Browns was throwing out there today. <laughs> I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one.